Here's an interesting book that you might have <coughs> not heard of before. It's called Moll 31. Actually, it's called Moll 31, um, which is an address, a German address, um, by a photographer Wiebke Löper. Moll in German also means flat, as in uh, C flat. You know, it's of C minor, C flat. You know, the sad scales. <coughs> and just let's have a look at the book. You might already notice something from the yellow color, or maybe not. Uh, here we go. So the book, I bought the book in Berlin when I was in Berlin, and I met the photographer who gave a a talk about this book. And um, so this first spread kind of sets the theme of the book. So the book consists of um, photographs from the photographer's parents' collection. Here's one. That's the photographer's mother. And then the photographer went back to more or less take the same photograph later. Oopsie. Later. Um, actually, after the wall had come down. This is in East Berlin. And as it turned out, the foundation of this building, that's the building that the photographer grew up in, the foundation of the building was uh, in tatters, so they had to tear down the building because it wasn't safe to live there any longer. Um, the photographer was working with uh, these um, photographs. I don't know what they were, slides or photographs. These photographs from her parents' collection. This is her mother being pregnant with the photographer. And she went back to take photographs of the same places. Um, since the building was being taken down, everything was in ruins, uh, on the verge of you know being destroyed. But as you can tell from these images, there clearly is an attempt to create the exact same vantage point in the new photographs as the ones they had in the old photographs. And the, the building itself had some architectu uh, architectural um, peculiarities. I think, if I remember this correctly, some of the walls were um, set up in sort of a modular state so you can actually move some walls around to create different spaces, which might or might not explain why there's a wall here and there's no wall there. But now, of course, you understand the color of the book because you see that weird orange, yellow in these old photographs. And here it is. It's the same space before the building was destroyed. So this is an, in an interesting way to work with um, both family and with, uh, I don't want to really say found photographs, because they're not really found. They're from an archive, from the uh, archive of the photographer's family. And of course it's a, an interesting way to deal with memory with what's lost, what's left behind. There's a little detail that we will get to in just a little while. I think it's fairly obvious which photographs are old and which ones are new. And it's really interesting to see how well the photographer managed to recreate, closely recreate, these old photographs.
used a little, I don't want to call it a twist, that would be nasty, but, um, well, it is kind of a twist. The photographer's mother actually died in 1982, um, so the photographer grew up without her mother, so the book is also sort of a memorial of, you know, the mother and the life they had together. The first version of the book was made as an artist book in the mid-90s, I believe, if memory serves me right. And then it was another 10 years before the, this book, the hardcover, got released. Um, this hardcover is no sold out, but if you're a little crafty, you can still find it. Um, I think Amazon DE might have it. I think I looked when I was in Berlin. I found this actually at a second-hand bookshop in Berlin. There was a conscious decision about not shooting at night to restage this photo. I forgot the reason though, which is not so great. But you know, this is no mistake. This, of course, is the uh, the view towards the Alexanderplatz TV Tower in, in then East Berlin, now in the center of Berlin. And this is the book. So this is like an edition of two, 750. The book was issued in 2005. 1995 there was an art book edition. And the book also features a an essay by Annette Groschner, who had seen the work and who had promised the photographer, if you ever make a book, I'll write you something for this. Okay, it's in German and it's in English and in French. And this is where I bought this. If you're ever in Berlin, this is a great place to look for photo books. And that's in euros. So this is Moll. 31, Moll 31, for those who only speak English, by Wiebke Löper. Oops, that's a... Alright, don't hit the tripod. And uh, it's one of those little books that's a real treasure, something um, that you might want to look at if you're interested in working with archives, uh, family, memory.